Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. So I'm actually getting ready right now to go to my hair appointment. I'm so excited because I am doing a hair vlog. Never, I don't know if I've done this. I've like done hair videos in the past, but I haven't done like an extreme hair transformation in a long time. And today is the day. I have like an hour or so before I have to leave. I still have a lot of time. I'm going to be dyeing it like a super dark cherry red. That's kind of what I'm aiming for. I'm not sure if I'm going to get a sew-in or micro links. I'm thinking maybe I want to do a sew-in with like minimal leave-out. Maybe I'll just have a little bit of leave-out like around here. And then have maybe like one or two rows of tape-ins I'm thinking. Just for like the bangs. Just gonna do like super natural makeup um i've kind of figured out like a makeup routine that literally is like five minutes and it doesn't even look like i'm wearing makeup like it's like a super natural no makeup look it's always like when my hair is not done like i just don't even feel cute like it's not that like obviously i can wear my hair in a bun but it's just boring like this is just like simple hair but whenever i get like a sew-in or i get fresh braids that's when i'm like let me put on makeup, let me take pictures, let me be out there. <laughs> it's been a little while, so I've had my braids out for a little bit, so I'm very overdue for a new hairstyle. This Dior powder is unbreakable for me. <laughs> oh my god. Am I okay? This gloss is by Patrick Ta. I think it's plumping, if I remember correctly. Just put on like a quick lip liner and Benetint. I also just did my nails this morning, which was a very much needed. So I feel like today is like my glow up day. You know, yesterday I got my lashes done. Now I got my nails done. My hair is gonna be done. I'm just gonna feel like a brand new person. I'm gonna enter my new red hair era. I will see you at my hair appointment. I'm gonna bring my tripod and I'm just gonna film it. And I'll probably add like a voiceover of like everything that we did. And then when I'm back home, I'll show you the results at home and how I feel and like my ideas of how I want to style it or something. I don't know. Oh my God. I'm like kind of nervous, but I'm excited. Okay. <laughs> so here we are at my hair appointment. I'm so excited to take you guys through my hair appointment today. I'm just excited for you guys to see the results. So whenever I get there, I always kind of discuss like obviously what I want. We go through um, the techniques we want to use. I had some wax in my hair, so we actually had to wash it or like shampoo it once before dyeing it so that the dye would take better. But I was only going to dye my leave out because I didn't want to do my full hair. Yeah, so here she's just going to wash my hair and i think she did one one or two like rinses it's so funny watching myself back and seeing how much i like talk with my hands and like <laughs> how much i talk in general it's like i don't know but we always have a lot of fun at hair appointments and because hair appointments tend to take quite a while if you're getting a lot done it's always nice that you're able to like chat with your hairstylist and that you get along so I need you most we got love guaranteed and I have to know now we're gonna move back to the chair and she's basically just going to part my leave out so that she knows what she's gonna what she needs to dye as you can tell my hair is super thick um I think I had maybe like a centimeter of like regrowth of my relaxed or like my natural hair growing back out um, I have certain spots that are like super damaged and broken off, which I'm trying to just grow out right now. And I feel like my haircut in general makes my hair look even thicker. So at the moment, I'm just trying to like grow it out to a length that I can kind of have it all one length again, because there's just so many layers. But here she's just applying the dye. I don't know the exact dye she used. Um, I will try and find a link. I think I know what the tube or like the tub looks like but i don't know the brand so i'm gonna look it up and then i'm gonna link it in the description for you guys but yeah here we're just dyeing my hair once i take this so i know i'm actually just gonna dye all of my hair red i think um even though i do think i want to go black eventually i just want the red for a little bit longer but i think i'm just gonna dye it at home let me know if you guys want to see a video of me dyeing my hair at home because i've dyed my hair many times and it's not that hard so no here's what it looked like i wanted to keep a little bit of my roots out just gonna let you guys watch her rinse this out 
and shampoo my hair and then I'll be back. <laughs> When I need you most We got love guaranteed And I have to know Say Don't be so hard to reach Just pick up your phone Tell me where you'll be Cause I gotta know Of course I have to get myself a Red Bull <laughs> She actually had them She offered me one So I think here we're just we're having some kind of discussion. I don't know what the fuck we're talking about. Apparently, I was very passionate about it. Running in search of the rim. Here, she's just gonna blow dry my hair, I think. Yeah, so that we can start braiding it. it all So here she's just going to part um, my leave out again, but this time it's going to be like the official parts of like how it's going to be. And I just wanted a little bit of leave out on top, a little bit of extra so that we can add a few tape-ins. And then I also wanted the sides out, like my edges, probably like a centimeter, maybe like one and a half. I always like to have a little bit of um, leave out there because i like putting my hair behind my ears and it just looks more natural and then she's basically gonna move on to um actually first she's gonna braid away my leave out so that it's not in the way and i did not film her braiding my hair because it obviously took like the longest probably aside from sewing it on um but i will show you the braiding pattern we used i wouldn't say this is my favorite we did it this time because obviously i have a lot of hair so we we're trying to make it like really flat but i feel like this one like after about the two week mark the braids just get really loose at the bottom so i think next time i want to try the one where she, like she braids all around my head into like braiding into the middle of my head if that makes sense but this is a really nice way to have it like super flat and looking natural because as you can see like the top is super flat um so here she's just gonna go ahead and sew on all the bundles she did dye my bundles for me um and this is actually hair that i've used multiple times so she bleached it and then she added the same dye we put on my hair um, i think she actually did a mixture that my uh the dye we used in my hair is a little bit more purple i have to say i think i prefer the color on the bundles um which is like what i'm gonna dye the rest of my hair um, but i didn't want to bleach my hair so Obviously, it was going to turn out a little bit different, but I think it still blended pretty good. And I think next time, if I dye my bundles red, I'm just going to dye them myself. And I'm going to, like, fully bleach them or maybe get, like, blonde and then dye it red. I'm going to have to, like, look into how I'm going to do it and the techniques and stuff and, like, find the exact color I want. But I'm still really happy with the results that I got this time. Here she's just gonna blow dry my hair after she sewed on all the bundles she's also going to use a l'oreal steam pot on my hair to give it kind of like a nice flick at the bottom um, i love using a steam pot i have one as well she's trimming the ends here oh actually she first straightened it and then trimmed the ends and then we did a little flick at the bottom and i was already really loving the color like i could not wait for her to do my leave out so i could see the finished look Your place, my place, my place, just face it. No. 
so here she did one side and i was already like so obsessed i was like oh my god this is amazing um so she straightened my leave out and then we went ahead and added two rows of tape ins two and on each row so in total four on each side i like to do this for like the shorter pieces and then my bangs in the front because it is quite broken off and i like when there's just a little bit more length i think it makes it look more seamless and it blends into the rest of the hair a lot more so i definitely recommend trying out some tape ins when it comes to like the top of your hair and like trying to blend that and have it like really flat as well tape ins are like perfect for like the flat look and like sleek look so would definitely recommend and then we're just using the steam pot to like blend the two together but you can see once i done i was so obsessed i felt so sexy bitch oh my god your place is my place now my place is your place let's face it baby you know how to play and obviously we went ahead and finished the other side just gonna let you guys watch that and then we're gonna move on to me bleaching my brows at home <laughs> Okay, so I'm not actually going to tell you guys the products that I used to do this because I have to say they were just not the right products to use. Um, maybe besides the toner shampoo that I use from Swatchkoff, I think. It's like a silver shampoo. I used like a lightning hair dye from the drugstore because I wanted to just quickly do this and I didn't want to have to order and like wait on um, actual bleaching powder and developer and I couldn't find a store nearby but this stuff was so strong that i could only keep it on for a few minutes i even tried to put some saran wrap on it but it was just like burning really bad and i didn't want to like burn off my brows so i did about three different rounds after probably like five minutes i would take it off applied a shitload of vaseline around my brows like on the skin but this one was just way too strong to use in my face so if you're gonna do this use like a low percentage developer along with bleaching powder i think you should be fine if you do that here i'm taking off the serum wrap because it was just burning so bad but i did this about three times and i was actually filming a tiktok which i never ended up posting because i just didn't really the results were not what i wanted and i'm gonna give this another try with better products and i'll make sure to film that for you guys but i ended up making it work it just didn't turn out how i wanted it because i was rushing and i also got the wrong hair dye because i got this like ash blonde like light brown hair dye but it ended up lightening even more which i didn't want it i thought it was gonna deposit like color onto my brows which it didn't so you know what i will get back to you on this it's been a few days but i wanted to give you guys an update on my hair and my brows so it's actually been a week since i got my hair done and i straighten it again today i went for like a sleek straight look today my hair is getting kind of dirty but um i filled in my brows with like a light brown i'm currently loving this color so i'm hoping that the next time i have to bleach and dye them i can get them this color this is kind of the goal um let me know what you think i definitely think i also one time just want to go like super light blonde with my brows um, but next time I'll get better products because honestly, if I just used the right products, it would have turned out so much better. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want me to do another hair vlog when I do another hair transformation with my hair. I'm thinking in January, I'm going to do jet black with blonde. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, thank you for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. My place always stays true. I won't give my body to nobody new. Can you be